Hello everyone, I am M. Jayashree, Assistant Professor of Rework Marine Food Processing and Preservation Technology, ADM College for Women, Autonomous Nahapatina. In this session, we see about the biochemical component in fish. First, we see the introduction of the subject. The knowledge about the biochemical composition of the fish are plays the vital roles in various fields. Due to the unusual nutrition nature of the fish, the consumption of the fish and the alertness of the balanced diet food increase dramatically from day to day. For the proper healthy and balanced diet food is essential to the understand about the biochemical ingredient of the fish which play the vital role for dietitians. Animal use of the fish and the fish related product as a source of the food therefore it is extremely important for uh, on to now the biochemical levels in the fish body. And next uh, the proximate composition of the fish. The body of the fish is most made from, from the water, protein, lipid and the ash. This composition are called a proximate composition of the body of the fish, mainly composed for four major constituents which are water, protein, lipid and ash, which makes the edible portion of the fish. The study of this water, protein, lipid and the minerals in the fish muscles are called a proximate analysis. This group of the fishes uh, composed almost of 24,000 species, inhabited and food intake are symmetrically diverse among the this fish species. Some fishes are totally divided in the sea water, but other fish species are restricted to the fresh water. But a few uh, species of the fishes can live in uh, both environments, the fresh water and as well as the marine environment. Some fishes are the migrating from the sea water to fresh water for spawning, while some species are the migrating from the fresh water to marine water for spawning. These two environments are the different on the basis of temperature variation, salinity pressure and the presence of the nutrients etc which deeply affect on the biochemical composition of the fish. In some time the variation occur in the proximate composition of the various part of the same type of the fishes which is another kind of the variation. Uh, in the amount of the oil present in the fish puzzle is commonly increases from the posterior region towards the anterior region and also low weighted and the red muscle having a different in the biochemical composition. The spe uh, specific group of the fishes are the same species uh, shows difference in your biochemical composition. Sometimes the difference occur in the single or many species which take at the different times or under various circumstances. In some time the variation occur in the proximate composition of the various part of the same type of the fish which is another kind of the variation agreeing with the amount of oil present in the fish muscle is commonly increases from the posterior region towards the anterior region and also low weighted and the red, red muscle. The range of the various values of this constituents of some species of these fishes of Asian coastal water are the water contain here 65 to 90 percentage and the protein present in 10 to 20 percentage, the four fat present in 1 to 20 percentage and the minerals present in 0.5 to 5 percentage. Uh, water in the fish tissues. This is the essential for the all living systems. Body fluid act as the medium of transport of nutrients, metabolites, etc. And the water is the major component in the, this fluid. It is the required for the normal functioning of the many biological molecules. Protein, for example, can maintain its native form and normal function only present of the water. The pr proportion of the water is the flesh varies widely. Through in a majority of the cases, the variation is much narrow between the 70 to 80 percentage. One of the example of the very high water content in the Bombay that a species found it abundantly along with the north west coast of the India in which case the muscle tissue contain about 90 percentage of the water. Water is present in the two form of the tissues bound to the protein and in the free form. These forms have the well defined biological roles. Water is lost from the tissue in many ways during the processing and this may affect the quality especially the texture of the processor product. There exists an inverse relationship between the water content and lipid content of the fish such that the sum of the percentage of the two approximates 80 percentage. Uh, the summation of the oil and water however is not necessarily constant and frequently spans a range of 78 to 85 percentage. Next one is a lipid. Lipid include a wide heterogeneous group of the compound. Lipids are the defined as the fraction of any biological material extractable by solvent of low polarity. As can be seen, the definition itself is in, uh, not a precise one, but that is the thought to be best to include all compound belonging to this group. Any material extracted with the fat solvent like ethyl alcohol, ether, chloroform, hexane, petroleum, 
metrodium ether etc is classified as a lipid the important type of the compound included in this group are fatty acid glycerides and phosphoglycerides and spinoglipids and aliphatic alcohols and waxes uh, steroids and combination of the above type of the compound with proteins peptides carbohydrates etc in this case of the fish tissue the major component of the lipids are triglycerol and phosphoglycerides both containing a long chain fatty acid smaller proportion of the other component are also present variation in the lipid content are much wider than that protein fish with the fat content as low as low as the 0.5 percentage and high as the 16 to 18 percentage or is common occurrence in many species fatty fish like oil sardine mackerel herring etc the main site of the storage of lipid in a muscle the lipid content such a fish show wide variation with the season and the sexual maturity the lipid content of the muscle of the oil sardine is about 3 to 4 percentage in june to july which increases at about the 18 percentage by the november, november to december in animals energy is stored mainly as a fat when excess energy is available from this food it is stored as a fat and is utilized during period of the low energy availability uh, this is uh, true in the case of the fish also the storage site for that uh, are different to uh, different species in some cases it is the liver and in the some other cases in the adipose tissues in great majority of the cases the depot fat mainly triglycerides there is the build up of the lipid during the feeding season and uh, decrease during the spawning in fatty fish like the oil sardine mackerel herring etc the main site of the storage of lipid is the muscle the lipid content such as show the wide variation with the season and mature, sexual maturity the lipid content of the muscle of the oil sardine is about 3 to 4 percentage next we we'll see about the changes to lipid during the processing or storage two type of changes take place in the lipid during the processing and preservation of the fish hydrolysis and the oxidation lipid hydrolysis result in the release of free fatty acid and this free fatty acid causes the protein denaturation denatured protein loses its characteristic properties and this leads to the loss of the quality especially the texture lipid hydrolysis in the tissues in the mainly due to the action of the lipases and the activity of this enzyme will be low at the low temperature the lipid hydrolysis and the consequent deterioration of the quality will be minimum in a product kept at low temperature about 18 to 20 degrees celsius the oxidative changes in to lip, lipid is serious and complex problem due to the high degree of the unsaturation of the fatty acid present in the fish lipid it is a susceptibility to oxidation is extremely high Contact with the oxygen or other oxidizing agent will initiate the oxidation and elevate the temperatures, catalyze the like copper or iron etc. Will accelerate the process. A more complex situation is that the oxidation reaction will be propagate itself through the free radical mechanism. The product of the oxidation will import of, of flavor to fishery product and in advan advanced stages of the oxidation, the product formed will be even toxic. It is a chain reaction which progresses through the propagation of the free radicals. The process is characterized by an induction period during which the oxidation is low followed by accelerating the rate of the oxygen absorption with the concurrent development of the hydroperoxide which are the primary product of the oxidation. The hydroperoxide undergo decomposition to various products like the aldehyde, ketones, alcohol, carboxyl acid etc some of the which are the volatile and the some non volatile the number of the nature of this decomposition product depend on the position of the double bond being the oxidizer and the condition under which the hydroperoxide are the decomposed the rancid flavor uh, is the net result of this changes further oxidation of the highly unsaturated fatty acid will lead to the formation of the polymerized product under this condition fish or oil will become the totally unacceptable the presence of the air or elevated temperature catalyzed etc are in the main agent which promote the oxidation avoiding this condition can minimize the risk of the oxidation another effective method of the preventing oxidative or degradation in the use of antioxidant antioxidant prevent, prevented or retarded the propagation of the free radical chain reaction and this minimize the damages caused by the oxidation several naturally occurring the synthetic antioxidant like the 
tocopherol and botylated hydroxyanisyl and the botylated and the hydroxytoluene and etc. Now, uh, the fatty acid composition of the fish lipids. Uh, the major chemical ent entity in the most lipid molecules like the glyceride, phospholipids, wax, ester in a fatty acid. The nature of the fatty acid present in a fish lipid is the very complex. The fatty acid with carbon chain varying from the 10 to 22 and the unsaturation varying from the 0 to 6 double bonds are of the common occurrence. The great majority of the fatty acid, whether the saturated or the unsaturated, have the even number of the carbon atoms in the molecules. Add numbered acid are the present, but quantitatively they are very insignificant. Another important characteristic is that the unsaturated acid which have the more than one double bond. Uh, the double bonds are separated by the methylene group and have the cis configuration. The pro pro proportion of the trans isomers is usually very negligible. High degree of the unsaturation with 5 or 6 double bond per molecule is very common and abundant in the fish which is the seldom observed in the lipid of the other animal or plant or the terrestrial origin. These features make the fatty acid of the fish unique. As is the case of the lipid content, the fatty acid composition of the fish lipids also shows a wide variation. Proportion of the individual fatty acids may vary from the species to species. Even within the same species, the composition may vary depending factor like the feed intake, spawning, migration and etc. Commercially pro produced fish oil made from the same species of the fish often vary quite widely in the fatty acid composition and there is at the time quite significant variation in a fatty acid composition of the same species from the year to the year. The fatty acid profit of the depot lipids in a different from that of the other tissue lipids. Depot li lipids generally are richer in a saturated acid when it is compared with lipids muscle tissue. The number of the fatty acid present in the lipids of the any species is a quite high. The about the 50 different, acid, uh, different acids including the isomeric forms have been identified in the some species. However, a comparatively small number of the acid account for about 85 to 90 percentage of the total fatty acid. Uh, protein composition present in the fish. Protein are a highly complex molecules made up of the repeating unit of amino acid with molecular weights ranging from approximately 50, 5000 to many millions. The proteins of the fish muscle tissues can be divided into the following three groups based on the solubility. They are sarcoplasmic, myofibrillar and stroma protein. What is sarcoplasmic protein? Sarcoplasmic protein contain a many kind of the protein called a myogen uh, constituting the 21 to 25 percentage of the total protein. This protein are the soluble in a neutral salt solution of the low ionic strength. The content of the sarcoplasmic protein in the fish meat varies with the fish species but generally higher in the pelagic fish such as a sardine and mackerel and a lower in a demersal fish like the snapper and a place. And the, it is a deposit of during the water washing and pre-processing of the fish. The protein of this fraction is suited to the distinguish between the different fish, fish species as all the different species have the characteristic bond pattern have been separated by the isolatric focusing method. This is, uh, next myofibrillar protein. Myofibrillar protein is a form of myofibril which contain a myosin, actin, tropomyosin, troponin and actin. These proteins cover the 66 to 76 percentage of the total protein of the fish meat. This protein are the soluble in a neutral salt solution of the high ionic strength. They make up the contractile apparatus responsible for the muscle movement. The structure of the fish protein is easily changed by changing the physical environment. The solubility characteristics are greatly affected the freezing frozen storage. Treatment with the high salt solution denature the protein and the native structure in the irreversibly altered. This protein play an important role in a coagulation and gel formation when fish meat is being processed. Fish meat contain a large percentage of the myofibril protein than mammalian skeletal muscle. The amino acid uh, composition of the fish muscle is approximately the same as the protein of the mammalian muscle, the structure of the myofibril. Individual muscle fiber is made up of many myofibril running parallel to each other which are the 1 to 2 micrometer in thick. Uh, these are the basic unit of the muscle contraction. 
the individual myofibrils are the separated by the fine network of the tubules the sarcoplasmic reticulum which contains the sarcoplasm the myofibrils are the cross stranded uh, alternate dark the a bands and the light l bands are the present the a bands is a light region in the center next the myosin myosin consists of the six polypeptide chain and it's out of them two heavy chains and the four light chains myosin is a motor molecule that works to the move the cell this will result in a contraction and expansion movement myosin is a special protein that converts the adenosine triphosphate atp it is a molecule that cells use in a order to live and work into the mechanical energy this will be generate the forces and the movement next one is actin actin is constitute about the 22 percentage of the total myofibril protein it can be present as the either a uh, free mono, monomer called g actin or as a part of the nine year polymer microfilament called f actin both of the which are essential for the such an important cellular function as the mobility and the contraction of the cells during the cell division next one we say troponin and tropomyosin troponin and tropomyosin is regulate the muscle contraction troponin converts the 8 to 10 percentage of the total myofibular protein they are the three type of the troponin they are troponin c troponin i and troponin t troponin c is a calcium binding troponin i is a inhibitory protein troponin t is a tropomyosin binding tropomyosin is converts the 5 to 10 percentage in a total myofibular protein tropomyosin have have the two polypeptide alpha and beta chain and combined to form of the tropomyosin dimer actomyosin a complex of the actin and myosin of the which the contracted protein filament of the muscle tissue are the composed this is the diagram of the um, uh, for muscle protein in a fish uh, the stroma protein stroma protein is the protein which form the connective tissue it is a made up of the collagen and the elastin it is the constitutive approximately 3 percentage of the protein of the teleoist fishes and about the 10 percentage of the elastin branches it cannot be extracted by the water acid or alkaline solution and neutral uh, neutral salt solution of the 0.01 to 0.1 concentration fish meat separates the easily from the myomas when heated this phenomenon is caused by the gelatination uh, of the collagen is a thin mycometa which is a combined with the myomer elastin is a very resistant to the most of heat and the cooking does not affect the elastin in a connective tissue lately the existence of the elastic fiber in the cell has been the discovered dark meat contain uh, more stroma protein than a white meat but less sarcoplasmic protein white meat contain a more connective while the connection of uh, dark meat is half that of the white white meat amino acid in a fish protein all protein in the fish muscle tissues are made from the 20 common amino acid in a varied proportion all these common amino acids are present in the fish protein but the proportion vary from the species to species. Fish protein contain all essential amino acids in a good proportion which enhance the nutrition value. Fish protein are the rich in a lysine and low in a ryptopan if compared to the mammalian protein. Next we see about the vitamin. Vitamins and minerals are the minor constituents that need to be the present in the diet in a minor quantities and promote the good health and maintain a life. Vitamins are a group of the complex organic compound that are the essential to the normal functioning and the essential metabolic reaction in the body. They are required for a carrying out vital function of the body and many of them are involved in the utilization of the major nutri nutrients like the protein, fat and carbohydrates. Although they are needed in a small amount, they are essential for the health and well-being of the body. Natural substance found in the food. Vitamins regulate the body process such as the energy production blood clotting and a yeah, calcium balance important in a controlling critical metabolic process most of the b vitamins are the essential component of the specific enzymes for uh, coenzyme for the enzyme participating in energy metabolism and the other specialized activities fat soluble dissolved in a fat and the stored in your body higher concentration in the fish than a land animal a d e k vitamins uh, the vitamins help to maintain your yeah, organs and the tissue health next one is the fish as a source of the vitamin all the vitamins necessary for the good health are present to the some extent in the fish the vitamin content of the fish varies with the same species their parts of the even season fishes are a good sources of the fat soluble vitamins a d and e are and uh, of the water soluble vitamin of the b group 
fish liver oil are known as the richest source of the vitamin A and D abundant in the liver of the lean fish and the shellfish and in the meat of the fatty fish. Fish liver oil very, or very often used it in the medicinal purpose because of this vitamin. Fish oil are also rich in a vitamin E than any other animal fat. Fish and shellfish are the good source of the most of the B vitamins that are the present in the skin, liver and gut of the fish. The flesh usually contain a more than half the total amount of the present in the fish. The raw is also a good source of this vitamin. Classification. They are classified into the water soluble and fat soluble vitamins. The what fat soluble vitamins are A, D, E and K have a diverse role. The water soluble vitamins comprise the vitamin C and the 8 B vitamins namely thiamine, riboflavin, riboflavin niacin, pyridoxine, cobalamine and folate, uh, pan, pan, pantothenic acid and the biotin. The fat soluble vitamin. Vitamin A, D, E and K dissolved in the fat before they are the absorbed in the bloodstream to carry out their function. Excesses of these vitamins are stored in the liver and are not needed every day in the diet. In contrast, the water soluble vitamin dissolved in the water and are not stored by the body since they are eliminated by the urine and we are recovering a constitutional daily sup supply in our diet. Water soluble vitamin. Water soluble vitamins are easily destroyed or washed out during the food storage or preparation. The proper storage and the preparation of the food can minimize the vitamin loss. To reduce the vitamin loss, always refrigerate fresh produce. Keep milk and grains away from the strong light and use cooking water from the vegetables to prepare soups. And the vitamin A. Any alcohol mostly occur in the nature of the form of the fatty acids forms one. The retinol easily absorbed by the body, abundant in the some animal diversity for the vitamin D. The vitamin D have a two major uh, physiological forms. They have the vitamin D2 and the vitamin D3. Vitamin D3 contain a more simpl simplified unsaturated high carbon side chain and vitamin D found in animal food as a vitamin D3 and 25 hydroxy vitamin D. The fish liver is an excellent source of the vitamin D. Finfish and shellfish are also known to be the natural vitamin D contributor. Food processing, cooking and storage of the foods do not generally affect the concentration of the vitamin D. Promote the absorption of the calcium and the phosphorus from the intestine. Without vitamin D, small intestines absorb not more than 10 to 15 percentage of the dietary calcium. Fatty and semi-fatty fishes, vitamin D3, uh, they present in a 5, 500 to 3000 microgram and liver oil is a rich source of oyster and mollusk rich source of the pro vitamin D and the vitamin D is also found in a oily fish example herring salmon and sardines as well as the cod, cod liver oil with next the vitamin E vitamin E benefits the body by the acting uh, as an antioxidant and protecting the vitamin A and C red blood cells and essentially fatty acid from the destruction vitamin E is the most effective fat soluble vitamin Natural vitamin E exists in the 8 different forms, 4 tocopherols and a 4 tocotrienols. Seafood provide a small amount of the vitamin E. Fatty fish have the greater quantities than the lean fish. Shellfish have very little vitamin E. Tocopherol and are the antioxidant are the usually added to the fish oil to protect them from the rancidity. Vitamin E, tocopherol, during the processing, Loss of the water vitamin E uh, can occur that quite rapidly due to the oxygen, light, heat and the various metals or uh, presence of the free radicals that uh, in initiate the auto oxidation. The vitamin E composition is expressed as the uh, my milligram of a tocopherol equivalence. The vitamin E antioxidant protecting the poly and saturated fatty acid and low density lipoprotein. The cholesterol from the oxidation by the free radicals have the anti-inflammatory effect. The alpha tocopherol abundant from the vitamin E in a fish oil. Then we say about the vitamin K. Vitamin K is a naturally produced by the bacteria in the intestine and play as an essential role in the normal blood clotting, promoting the bone health and helping to produce the protein for the blood, bones and kidneys. And there are the two major forms of the vitamin K that exist in the nature. Uh, phylocoinone and the menacoinone. It is the most uh, fish and shellfish. There are the only minor amount of the vitamin K. The vitamin K is quite stable, the oxidation and most food processing. 
it is as unstable to the light alkali and strong acid and reducing agent the vitamin k composition in the food is commonly expressed as the microgram of the vitamin k vitamin k the group of compound called the phylloquinone or the minoquinone anti hemorrhagic factor fish contain a variable but relatively low amount of the vitamin k salmon canada tuna and mackerel containing the highest concentration lobster clams mussels oysters and scallops also contain a low level of the vitamin k shrimp is an exception it is uh, contain a no measurable vitamin k then we say about the water soluble vitamin fish is a good source of the b vitamin red meat higher content of the vitamin b than a white meat fish liver uh, eggs and the milk are the good source of the thiamine and riboflavin niacin pantothenic acid pyridoxine biotin folic acid and carbolamine etc then the 10 percentage of the rda of these vitamins the b12 is a 10 100 percentage rda in a 100 gram portion which hold in a high body a greater amount of the thiamine 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 is exist here in pro convertible phosphorus Phosphorylated form the forms in nature as thiamine is a monophosphate, thiamine uh, biophosphate, and a thiamine triophosphate. Thiamine is the most stable between the pH 2 to 4 range and it is unstable and uh, at a alkaline pH acidic get oxidized. Most fish and the seafood have a small amount of the thiamine. Thiamine is the most heat liable vitamin. Raw fish and the shellfish contain a thiamine and the enzyme that destroy the thiamine. Sulfiryl group and other reducing agent protect thiamine from the thiamine reaction. Uh, next, we say about the riboflamine. Uh, riboflamine is also called a vitamin B2. Riboflamine acts as an yeah, integral component of the two coenzyme flavin adenine dinucleotide and flavin mononucleotide. The riboflavin occurs naturally in the food as the free riboflavin and as the protein bound in a coenzyme FID and FMN. Seafood is, seafood is generally a modest source of the uh, riboflavin. Some species like the mackerel and the squid are the good, uh, good to the excellent sources. Fish consumed a whole example. Smelt and sardines are also good source of the riboflavin. Riboflavin is stable to the heat acidic condition and the oxidation. If the light is excluded, riboflavin is destroyed by the exposure to the UV and the visible light within the range of the 420 to the 560 nanometer. The rate of the destruction in uh, accelerated, accelerated by the increasing temperature and the pH. The riboflavin is generally stable during the heat processing and normal cooking of the food if protected from the light. And riboflavin content in the food is expressed as the milligram of the riboflavin. Riboflavin flavin is the precursor of the two coenzyme known as the flavin mononucleate and the flavin adenine dinucleate. Next one is the niacin. This otherwise called a vitamin B3. The term niacin is the generic descriptor for the nictonic acid and nictinotamide. This compound are the essential for the formation of the coenzyme. Uh, nictinamide is the adenide dinucleate, otherwise called a NID, and the nictinamide adenide dinucleotide phosphate NADP in the body involved in the energy production, normal enzyme function, digestion, promoting normal appetite, healthy skin and your nerves. Niacin can be biosynthesized from the amino acid tryptophan. Niacin content is the fish and the seafood considerably vary depending on the variety of the fish or the seafood. Lean, a white fish and the shellfish tend to the contain a smaller amount of the niacin whereas some varieties such as the mackerel, salmon and tuna are rich in the vitamin. Then here vitamin B6, the name is pyridoxine. It is, uh, it aids the protein uh, metabolism and red blood cell formation. It is also involved in the body production of the chemicals such as the insulin and the hemoglobin. Vitamin B6 in the free and the bound form is found in a uh, wide variety of the food including seafood. Fish are the good to the rich source of the vitamin B6. Vitamin B6 is unstable to the light and both visible and UV. The vitamins is stable in a acidic condition to protect it from the light. The stability of the vitamin B6 towards the heat treatment Processing and storage depends on the pH of the media. Loss of the vitamin increases as a pH increases. The vitamin B6 content in the food are exposed as a milligram of the vitamin B6. Anemia, kidney stones, and nausea are the causes. Uh, and the A vitamin 
B6, yeah, vitamin B6 deficiency is infant uh, can cause the mental confusion. And the folate or the folic acid. Folic acid found in a dietary supplement and used in a food fortification. Role in a controlling homocysteine levels, thus reducing the risk for the coronary heart disease. Needed for the growth and the blood formation. Anti anemic substances, seafood provide a small amount of the folate. Folate is sensitive to the heat, acid, oxidation, and light. Folate losses by the food processing and the storage are variable by the food matrices, oxygen availability, heating times, and the forms of the folate in your food. The folate is a quite stable in a dry product, it is protected from the light and the oxygen, but folate, folate losses are the larger in water. Next one is a biotin. Biotin is an important vitamin. Biotin helps to the release energy from the carbohydrates and acid in the metabolism of the fat, protein and the carbohydrates from the food. The containing sulfur, biotin is widely distributed in many food, but its concentration are relatively low compared with the, the other water soluble vitamin. Liver contains a considerable amount of the biotin. Most of the biotin in your animal product is in a protein bound form. The biotin is the generally stable in a heat but it is gradually destroyed by the UV light. In a strong acidic and alkaline solution, biotin is unstable to the heating. The sulfur atom in a biotin is susceptible to the oxidation with the formation of the biotin sulfoxide and the biotin sulfone during the food processing which leads to the loss of the biotin activity. Biotin in your food is exposed in a microgram of the biotin, fatigue, loss of the appetite, nausea, vomiting, depression, muscle pain, heart abnormalities and anemia. Vitamin B12. It aids in the building of the genetic material, production of the normal red blood cells and the maintenance of the nervous system. Cyanobalamin and the hydroxobalamin are the forms of the vitamin B12. They use it to the most dietary supplements and are the converted to the adenocalcobalamin and the methylcobalamin in the body. Uh, vitamin B12 the found in a natural appear to be the form of the uh, from the synthesis of the bacteria and the other microorganisms growing in a soil and water. Fish and shellfish are the rich uh, source of the vitamin B2 with the salmons, herring, salads, mackerels, oysters and the clams at the top of the list. Okay. Then the most prevalent from form of the vitamin B12 in the fish and the seafood, vitamin C. They occur in a two form, they reduce in ascorbic and the oxidized dehydroxorbic acid. Ascorbic is a reversibly oxidized to the dehydroascorbic dehydro acid. Further, the oxidation convert dehydroascorbic acid in the inactive and the irreversible compound uh, di dictoglutamic acid. There are the two N and uh, antiomeric pairs, L and D ascorbic acid and L and D ascorbic acid, isoascorbic acid, L ascorbic acid and D ascorbic acid have the biological activity of the vitamin C. L ascorbic acid is a dehydroascorbic acid or naturally occurring form of the vitamin C, but the D isoascorbic acid is not found in the food. D isoascorbic acid is necessarily commercially and used as an antioxidant in the food usually processed and canned food. Fish and seafood are not considered a good source of the vitamin C. Vitamin C content is the food are commonly expressed in a milligram of the vitamin C. Other one is an extractive of the biochemical component. The substance are so called because they can easily be extracted from the fish plus by the water or water based solution. Unlike the protein, substances in the group have the comparatively small molecule. The most important extractives in the fish include sugar, free amino acid that is a free in the sense of they not bound in a protein structure and nitrogenous base which are the substances chemically related to the ammonia which may these extractives contribute generally to the flavor in the fishes. Some of them known as a volatiles contribute directly to the flavor and the adverse characteristics of the particular species as the name suggest volatile are the given off from the fish as a vapors and most of the extractive present in the very low concentration but because of their marked flavor or other uh, or not plus and the important to the consumer. Detailed analysis of these uh, substances have not been given because of the large variation existing both between within the species An additional complication is the way in the which is the concentration of this compound change during the storage and the spoilage. When the fish is stored after capture, the amount of the sum of the extractive present will change with the time. Thus, measurement of the amount can often indicate the storage time 
and hence indirectly to the quality extraction compound whose concentration in F5 varies directly with time of the storage have long factor affecting the composition of the fish. The composition of the particular species often appear to the vary from one fishing ground to another and the from the season to season but the basic causes of the changes uh, in composition are the usually variation in the amount and the quality of the food that the fish eats and the amount of the moment it makes. For example, fish usually stop feeding before the spawn and draw in the reserve in the fat and the protein again when the fish are the overcrowded they are may not be enough to the food to go around intake will be the low and the composition will change the accordingly reduction in the basic food resources plankton for example can affect the whole food chain and an example how abundance of the food supply can markedly change in the composition of the species in a sloan by the uh, sheep, sh sheep shed and american freshwater fish when the take taken from the certain small lakes that were, uh, were overstocked the ship shed had an average fat content of the 1% and compared with the 6 to 10% for those taken from the rivers or lake where the food was plentiful. Thank you.